170 years ago, when Cheltenham was running out of water, this was the solution the Victorians came up with, Hewlett's Reservoir. And today we have a rare chance to look around. So this is one of our service reservoirs, which is where we keep water before we deliver it to our customers. So we've got it out of service at the moment for a part of its routine inspection to give it a checkup because we're looking after these old Victorian assets and we want to look after them for the long term. When full, this tank can supply Cheltenham for two or even three days, 45 million litres of clean water. It is absolutely enormous. So it's quite hard to get a sense of just how big it is down here. So what we've asked Duncan to do is to carry on walking that way down to the far end of the tank to try and give you an idea of just how vast this space is. It took Duncan a good few minutes to walk to the far side of the reservoir. I bet there's a really long echo in here. Hello! Yep, around 10 seconds. It may be huge down here, but it's also hidden from sight. Most people have no idea the reservoir exists. So as you can see, where we're standing at the moment just looks like a bit of a green field and people just have no clue at all about what's actually under the ground. This is one of our biggest um, reservoirs where we store clean water and we've got about 500 of these across the region and they range anything from something kind of the size of your bedroom to this one which is absolutely huge. The good news is everything looks in pretty good shape. So we had it inspected by the engineer last week and we're really pleased with it. It's in good condition, all the concrete that's been here um, for tens of years and we're going to look after it for the tens of years into the future as well. Soon this vast space will be refilled, which will take about two weeks, and then Hewlett's Reservoir will continue to quietly supply water to Cheltenham, just as it has done for the last 170 years. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minutes Today, Cheltenham.